I'm Chris Sokolowski, lead animator at DNA Vancouver, and I'm going to be talking to you today about the technology that we used on Venom 2 Let There Be Carnage. So let me tell you a little bit more about how we used Houdini Engine to bring Carnage's tentacles to life for the big cathedral battle. The first thing that we wanted to do in this process was we basically wanted to get a functioning Maya rig that had the Houdini simulated effects rig sitting on top of it. Because we were animators, we needed to be able to animate this the way that we were comfortable and familiar doing, but still allow us control over the Houdini effects part of the process. By approaching it in this manner, animators were still able to animate in a, a way that was familiar to them while being able to work with a much more photorealistic final product in a real-time environment. So the process of creating the rig in Maya that also kind of like plugged into the Houdini engine tool was a collaborative process. Because we were essentially merging two aspects of our pipeline into a single asset, that involved a lot of back and forth and sort of collaborative work in order to get the final product. It involved, uh, you know, rigging and testing and from the animation side. It involved creating a functioning effects rig on the Houdini engine side that was then controllable through a Maya interface. One of the nice things about this project was that we were given a lot of lead time in order to develop this technology because Houdini Engine, or at least its uses practically, are very new. So a lot of this project felt like uncharted territory. We were discovering new things and new aspects of the technology every single day in order to kind of accomplish what we were ultimately trying to achieve. It opened up so many different avenues for projects down the road because now all of a sudden we didn't have to wait for effects to simply place their work on top of ours. Now all of a sudden the effects and the animation were kind of intertwining together and it was creating some really fantastic um, sort of artwork because these things were no longer kind of existing um, you know like separately and to use a, uh, a Venom quote it was it was like their two departments were existing symbiotically. On Venom 2, Houdini Engine allowed us to create fantastic visual effects that allowed the effects work and the animation work to exist symbiotically. And developing this technology has opened up multiple avenues for new exciting opportunities and new projects in the future.